Welcome back! We have another Curio de Art, so let's report to the witch. Welcome back, Fanti! Thanks for all the hard work again! Literally done nothing in between the parts, so... Amazing! This is amazing! This has to be a Curio de Art! It's our fourth! How incredible! Ah, uh, phew, that was close. I almost touched it. Madam Granny went to get the count, so please wait for a bit. What do you think, my lord? This is the fourth of your highly coveted curio de art. Give me that sweet, sweet money. This is indeed a beautiful piece. Yes, there's no doubt about it. <laughs> I wouldn't touch that if I were you. Apparently, this one will curse off the genitals of any man who touches it. Oh my. Oh. V very well then. You may put it away. It appears that the exploration is progressing smoothly. You've produced satisfying results. Seeing as your compensation has been delayed due to my own affairs, I will arrange for your payment to include your recent discoveries. As for the curio de art you've been looking for, you're just over halfway done with your collection. You've only three out of seven left. But at our current pace, I'd estimate that we have about 30% of the labyrinth left to explore. Really? That's a very short game, then. I know before you say. Just, just play along with the joke, okay? Hmm, it does appear that way. Seeing as you discovered these curio de art back to back. You've got to, you've got to play along like, oh yes, we're nearly done. Yes, yes, you know, that sort of thing. Yes, 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 yes. I had my doubts at first, but it seems like it was the correct decision to keep you on. You've exceeded my initial expectations. <laughs> it wasn't me alone, my lord. I couldn't have done it without Fanti and the little Missy. It's troubling that progress is only made known to me through you. It makes it difficult for me to stay abreast of the situation. Yeah, almost as if that's the idea, so you're kept in the dark. Oh, you're still dissatisfied despite how well things are going? Just leave us to our devices, and we'll have the place conquered by spring. If you get too caught up in the weeds, then you're sure to miss the flowers. It is in my nature to be meticulous, as a nobleman responsible for several estates. Managing risk and such are my responsibilities. Hmm. Your estates, eh? Obviously, results are the most important thing. But the first step to lasting results is paying attention to the process. Not that you know. Is that right? I'll think on that some more then. Still, I can't imagine why a man as meticulous as you would keep running into problems with efficiency. Is that sarcasm I hear, Madam Witch? <laughs> Not at all. Merely an observation. Oh, that's right! Please wait one moment, my lord. I was asked to deliver something to you. I'll go get it. Hmm? Are you not going to ask him about what happened that night? <sighs> this is a letter Miss K asked me to give to you. I'm so sorry. I completely forgot about it. Eureka hands Count Bismont the letter she'd gotten from Kay. Ornate wax seal on display. Also, uh, there was a reporter that stopped by. Ah, yes. I've already heard about him. That won't be a problem. But don't forget to notify me regarding these matters in the future. I may have hired you as an assistant to the exploration, but you are still an employee here. Y yes sir. I'll be more careful. My apologies. Count Bismont pulls a letter opener from his pocket and unseals the letter. As he skims its contents, his brows begin to furrow. My, my. What's the matter, my lord? 
Lord Francis Norton, who comes from a long line of artists related to His Majesty, is requesting to stay here for several days. Lord Francis Norton. Queen Lavalier is less rigid in this regard, but he'll need to be received with a certain degree of hospitality. It appears he'll arrive... today. More specifically, sometime this afternoon. He could be here any minute. Uh, um, I... My lord! My lord! A, a guest has arrived! Good grief. <sighs> Lord Francis Norton, eh? They just keep coming. Looks like it'll be busy around here again. You can't forget these things, Missy. I have a feeling that's gonna be the guy from her dream. I'm sorry. If only I'd given him the letter sooner. What's past is past. Also, is that girly in the attic again? How am I supposed to introduce her if she isn't even here? Oh, about that. Eureka explains the previous night's events. There we go. Deary me, what have the two of you been up to? How am I supposed to face the Count now after all that talk about processes and results? I'm really sorry. Even so, I'd heard that the Count was out that day. Are you sure the two of you weren't seeing things? Yeah, this is the question. If he wasn't here, what or who was that? But, but someone definitely tried to open our door. Oh? Perhaps it was that bird person from the rumors, but that's not likely to be the case. Maybe a thief got in somehow. Wh what Well, as long as the curio are safe. A thief or two is none of my concern. The Count could do with a little less junk. Um, will you be going out more often from now on too? Yes, that may be happening more frequently. I want the three of you to make as much progress as you can without me. You'll be fine. After all, Fanti will do most of the work. What else is the lantern for? <laughs> Show us what you can do. <laughs> I'm counting on you then, Fanti. But it'll be a problem if we have to continue hiding Nachiru's existence. I guess I'll talk to the Count about her. Oh, right. This is for you. Your bonus. Madame Marta opens up a package she'd received from Count Bismont on Eureka's behalf. Money! I thought it'd be double since he said he'd pay all at once. But it's four times as much. Loads of money. Wow! It appears you've won his trust. Good for you. Work hard to keep it. Yes, I'll do my best! If I remember correctly, you're... Okay. Greetings, Madam Witch. I'm Queen Consort Luvalier's attendant. Please pardon my intrusion. Oh, hello, Miss Kay! Good day, Miss Eureka. I'm here today as Lord Norton's attendant and guide, seeing as he's a close friend of Her Highness. I'm so sorry for forgetting to pass on the letter, Miss Kay. Oh, you needn't worry about that. Lord Norton is even less rigid than Her Highness. He's a renowned artist in his own right, so I believe he'll be quite content merely viewing the works of art here. I'll be in your care for the duration of our visit, as will the Lord. We are grateful for your hospitality. Now, if you'll excuse me. Well, I guess it's time for me to greet this Lord Norton. Indeed. <sighs> I'm relieved Lord Norton is so flexible. Madam Witch, please hear out his request. There's something... troubling him. If it isn't the guy in the dream, I'm wondering who it could be. 
please resolve this matter during the extent of his stay, if possible. Consider this your current priority above all other requests. <laughs> I see. So he's a prospective patron, is he? Now, where did he get off to? I'm not the most sociable of people, so I'll leave him to you until dinner. <laughs> to think this quiet old manor could be so lively. Indeed. Why, you must be the Madam Witch of Rumor. Madam Martha, was it? You certainly seem spry. I'm glad to see you're in good health. Okay, yeah, definitely not the guy we saw. Well, I say definitely. It still could be, like, maybe some time travel shenanigans going on, aging potions, de-aging, like we've seen de-aging of some sort with the Queen Consort, so... Hmm. But, most likely, not the guy we saw in the dreams. But I'm not closing up that avenue of thought just yet, you know? Yes, yes, thank you. I'm just a humble country witch. And this is my assistant. N nice to meet you. I'm Eureka de Soleil. It's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, young lady. Queen Lavalier told me all about you. She said you were a walking contradiction. A hard-working noble with the innocence of blooming flower. How poetic. <laughs> That's a laugh. Uh, right, right. Was there something troubling you? I just like how Eureka's just fading away. Ah, yes. But you know, when I think of His Majesty's anguish over the court's corruption, I feel as though my worries are but trifles. Uh, She's gone. Eureka begins to doze off in front of Lord Norton, but Madame Marta elbows her sharply. Uh, yes, indeed. So, what might your grievances be? The conversation in here seems to be quite lively. Shall I bring you all some tea? Ah, Miss Kay, you should join us. It's all right, my lord. I haven't the education to serve as an adequate conversation partner. How has your gout been, my lord? I heard that it's been ten days since your last flare-up. Are you due for another soon? Oh, dear. Right, right. That's precisely what I came to consult you about, Madam Witch. Please hear me out. To tell you the truth, madam, I suffer from a dreadful case of gout. The physicians have all given up on me. They're even beginning to recommend opium and folk remedies that might not even work. I know that sorcery and the like isn't a cure-all, but seeing the Queen's new looks has me thinking perchance I could give it a go. Though it's ill-advised for someone my age to make such a long excursion, that is the reason for my visit. Um... What scout? <laughs> I suppose it is an illness the young wouldn't know of. It begins in the feet, and mine happens to be quite the rascal. The pain can be so excruciating, it incapacitates me. I often entertain the thought of amputating my leg during the worst flare-ups. Damn. Once it begins, all I can do is let it run its course. Enduring it until it subsides. You can't even imagine this pain. I see, I see. So that's why you've come here. I understand. I will apply every technique at my disposal in an attempt to resolve your ailment during your stay, my lord. And seeing as it's about time for your dinner with the Count, I'll take my leave. Ah. Uh. Leaving already? You could join us for dinner. No, no, that's quite all right. Night takes a toll on these old bones. 
Please excuse me. <sighs> Good grief! What a client. Are you okay, Madam Granny? Worn out from the sounds of it. I'm not going to last if he stays too long. What a chatterbox that man is. And if this affects the progress of the exploration, the Count would never let me hear the end of it. Damned if I do, damned if I don't. Now, what am I going to do about Lord Norton's problem? I can't think of any good ideas. Really? Nothing? I can think of a bunch. For starters, we could just make him younger. Would that really help? What? Absolutely not. It'll attract unwanted attention if we do too good of a job. He could look and act like an entirely different person. I... I guess. I didn't tamper with the Queen's age. I only removed her wrinkles. Huh? Really? Yes. She may have thought it had an effect on her entire body. But in terms of restoring her youth, well, it hardly had any. Like I said, Making someone younger could alter their personality. The best solutions are subtle and believable. Huh. That's no different from fraud. Now I'm starting to get how you've managed to make it this far as a witch. The nerve of you. Always something to say, hmm? Hmm. If the pain is the problem, can't we make it go away? Or is that too hard? That's why we're talking about how to just cure the guy in the first place. Hold on. She might have a point about targeting the pain. It could be possible to create a salve powerful enough to completely numb it. That doesn't solve anything, does it? We're not really getting rid of it. I don't think we'll be able to cure it. And considering our lack of alternatives... So after all that, it's not that much different than opium. Madame Mata writes down a number of items. Do you understand, Fanti? I want you to bring back these items from underground. Well, it's the usual pattern, yes. I'll also need livestock saliva, straw, and grapes. But you and Nachiru can grab these from the village, all right, Eureka? Y yes ma'am! I'll do my best! Let's go together, okay, Nachi? <sighs> You obtained 100,000 silver coins. A special basket. Energy milk. Wood-fired lasagna. Special pudding. So, get the golden slime mold, false snake egg, and rueful fig. Right, so let's have a look at the shop, and then I might make a cut as I venture it out and do some exploring. This stuff just getting automatically pawned there. Hmm. Nothing really too interesting for me at this point, anyway. Right, so, yeah, I'm going to venture out and see what we've got out there. See if I can find any of this stuff. So I'll be back in just a second with what I find. Okay, so I've done quite a bit of exploring around the places. I've even been using portals all over the places to make myself have an easier way of getting around when I come back and forth from the actual labyrinth itself now. As you can see, like, we've got a, a one up there, two down there, so I don't have to venture all the way through again. So it's like, yeah, I've just been venturing around, found several curios to art. There's some red exclamations all over the place that I've found. I think 
It's those two, and yeah, some down here. There's one up here, but I don't know how to get to it at all. That's another one of those moon symbols, but yeah, I don't know how to get to that at all. Because these things move you around. It's like, how do you get off there to get there or, or there? Like, I, I just don't know at this point. I don't know. But something I did find on the floor we're on is another wardrobe. So, let's have a look. Let's go. Yes. A new field has been added. Indigo transept. Transept from the Apsis 8th floor. A labyrinth of waterways. The key way through is to master water travel. Uh oh. I don't have a way to do that yet, so. Would be helpful. Would be helpful. Is that not going to be a scene? Seems you can enter the aqueduct from here, but you can't hold your breath long enough to go in. It's probably best to head back and seek the witch's advice. That it is. What made that noise, then? I don't know it was an enemy around of some sort. I tell you, though, this seeing one square ahead has been very, very helpful to me. When you can, at least. Looks like we could have gone in there. I can't smash that or anything. That's another way in. We'll get that mana while we're here. Because we will be leaving out to see the witch, because obviously I'm going to need to get that sorted. But we may as well get this bit explored while we're here. I'm assuming it's all just waterways around here. Like, you can see, like, there's water there. Can't get elsewhere. Can't get elsewhere. All right, let's head back into the wardrobe then. And see the witch. Yep, 77 progress points. Right. There has to be a way to move underwater for a long time. Go back, report to the witch. For me, I'm very much like, at long last. W welcome back, Fanti. Thank you for all your hard work. That's no problem. Is Fanti back? Ah, don't worry about explaining it all. Lord Norton keeps conversing with the reporter. Unbothered as Eureka and Madame Marta whisper. Truly, you are a learned individual. If intellectuals like you are among the layfolk, we ought to declare free assembly immediately. You are far too kind. It's our job to expose and decry those who would abuse their power. You must visit my estate back at the capital. Indeed, we shall chat the night away accompanied by some delicious alcohol. Of course, I'd be deeply obliged. It's an honor to have made your acquaintance. Lord Norton, your vast experience and erudition will be valued by the masses as a treasure greater than the splendid collection of works found here. Splendid, eh? Unfortunately, the appreciation of art is a privilege of the gifted. Alas, even you can't understand what this means. All right, mate. Prince Hubert, the son of his highness, has yet to debut as an artist, but I can say with confidence that he is quite the prodigy. He can swiftly draw or carve any request. His talent astounds even his own teachers. He's the very definition of a true genius. I invited him to join me, thinking it could benefit his studies, but he fell ill shortly before the trip. Given his leave from official duties, I'm sure he would have enjoyed the fresh country air. Ah. So Prince Hubert has a rather weak constitution? No, I don't believe it is anything of the sort. I, I just like that. It's like, he has a weak constitution? No. Okay, moving on. However, it would have been a matter of secrecy if he had joined me. He begged me to bring him along, but his majesty apprehended him first. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. I, I apologize, Lord Norton, but we'll be taking our leave now. We must continue our expedition. Indeed, my apologies for keeping you. The works here, they're called Curio, yes? 
They're rather avant-garde. I was left awestruck. Struck by awe? Oh my. Gazing at religious art alone can only do so much. It is my hope that artists begin to broaden their horizons. Well then, we best be off. Avant-garde, he says. Poppycock. The, that took so long. So long. This will be quite a problem for us if we cannot get him to leave soon. And the Count's been using that journalist's arrival as an excuse to hole up in his room. Sheesh. Yes, but what about the water in my way? Now then... How are things on Fanti's end? Wet. A lot of wet. Water. I think I saw a waterway. Water, eh? This won't be easy to deal with. Even for the puppet soldiers? Yes, I should think so. Though puppet soldiers may be immortal Manania, their basic parts function like those of a human body. You can repair their lost limbs and even bring them back from death. But that doesn't change the fact that at their core, they are human. Hence why they cannot accomplish tasks which exceed their human limitations. Obviously, they'd be unable to stay alive. Long story short, Traveling underwater is far more difficult than evading curses. Especially the further down you go. Uh, oh, I had no idea. And Fanti would be extinguished too, huh? No, the Lantern Day Phantasmagory's flame is fueled by a different power entirely. Being underwater won't pose a problem for it. But the fact that Fanti returned means it's very likely there are no other paths forward. Yeah, Nachi also mentioned that about the waterways. I mean, there's a few options of where I could go, but I imagine this is the next step sort of thing. Well, let me think on it a while. Fanti, you keep looking for the materials written on that note. As for you and the girly, Hurry on down to the farm. I need you to take care of all the payments we're behind on. I gave Perico money to handle it, but she's been pocketing it this whole time. Good grief. There's just no end to our troubles. Ugh. Listen to me. Even I'm starting to sound like that long-winded buffoon. Come now, hurry along. <coughs> Are you okay? Ma Madam Granny! I I'm fine. Don't worry about me. Phlegm's just a part of life once you're older. Uh, okay, I'm heading out then. It's clearly not that simple. Nothing in this game is that simple. Oh dear. Oh, Miss Eureka, I'll be returning to the capital now. Please look after Lord Norton. Take care, Miss Kay. Tell Her Highness I send my best wishes. <laughs> Thank you. You're always in such good spirits. Whoa! Pardon me, Miss. Oh, Miss Kay! Are you leaving already? I am, yes. Will I be seeing you again in the capital? The capital? I tend to remain at the Queen's side as her servant, so I may not have much time to myself. But if you don't mind meeting at the palace, I can usually be found there. <laughs> I'd be in your debt if you could arrange an introduction. I'd love to share all about the florid lifestyle of the nobility with the citizens. 
<laughs> I'm merely jest. Such a thing would only result in riots. <laughs> yes, riots. It would indeed. <laughs> I've heard Her Highness is giving a speech during a ceremony while there. I'd love to interview her if that's possible. I understand. I will inquire with her on your behalf. Miss Eureka, I'd also love to hear more about these curio. They're said to have mysterious powers, yes? I don't know much about them, but... I always get in trouble whenever I almost touch them since they're so dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> don't touch them. Ah, oh, dangerous, you say? How so? Uh, I don't really know any details, but... Oh, I remember! There's a curio called the Something Screw. You can't lie while holding it. Yeah, don't tell people that, because that could be... quite useful to, to, to people. I like, think the Lasso of Truth from Wonder Woman, that kind of thing. My, how frightening. <laughs> Why do you say that, Miss K? Have you something to hide? Even I have secrets, sir. But I doubt I'll be punished too severely for helping myself to Her Highness's leftovers. Will you just admit it? Well, what a grave confession. I believe I have my headline for tomorrow. Queen's Maid Swipe Citizen Funded Meals. <laughs> I'd surely be in trouble then. <laughs> and then you find out tomorrow, like, that is the headline. In any case... While it is a reporter's job to see through lies, the notion of having your own exposed is indeed terrifying. Well then, Miss Eureka, I shall take my leave now. Okay, and you take care, Miss K. Ah, allow me to escort you out. That's right! I have to go to the village. I can't forget it. Okay. I hope Nachi's awake already. Nachiro and Perico's voices echo inside. You. Why do you have this? Ha! Like I care! Stupid! Ask Granny! Why can't you just tell me? Let go! I don't care! I don't care! Die! Die! Ow! Hey! No biting! Ugh... <sighs> Perico flies out with a frantic expression on her face, but she quickly darts off. Uh, huh? Oh. I could hear you two from outside. Were you and Perry fighting? Oh, is this the first time you met her? It's fine. She bit me the first time I met her, too. I still have scars. Did you need something? Need something? Oh yeah, that's right. Madam Granny told us to head to the farm and... She did mention that, didn't she? Yeah, I'm not going. But you can't stay cooped up in this place all the time. It's bad for your posture, Nachi. Mind your own business. I hunch over because of my... chest. Really? What? I wish my chest was as big as yours, though. I'm so jealous. I mean, if it's that big that it's causing her problems with her back, you kind of don't want that. <sighs> Knock it off already. A board like you could never understand my pain. Bored. Oh, my. So mean. Come on. Can't we just go together? No. Please. Make puppy eyes at me all you want. I'm not changing my mind. Go by yourself. Madam Granny did say to ask you how to ride a broom if you ever got stubborn, but I have no idea why. Does she think I can learn to do it too? The hell? That old hag! You have no idea what you're saying, huh? Uh... Guess not. Fine, fine. I'll go. But I don't want to see or talk to anyone. You handle all that. Huh. That's intriguing. Also, how is your hoodie sweating? Great! 
Then let's go through the woods around back. Kay and Tomas are probably near the entrance still. So if we go through the back, no one will see you. <laughs> What's so funny? You're creeping me out. It's our first time out together, Nachi. The hell? Oh, why is it so bright? It's called daylight. So, how do you feel? The sunshine's great, isn't it? <laughs> if I get more sick and die from this, I'm definitely haunting you. Besides, I don't hate being outside. I just hate talking to people. But, but still, it's way too bright. It's cold, but I feel like I'm melting. Huh? It feels so great out here, though. Look, you're talking to the Witch of Soot. I can't handle this stuff to begin with. I prefer to stay still and in the dark. And it's freezing out here. Looking at you in those thin clothes makes me feel three times colder. Of course it's cold. It's winter. My hometown is way colder than this, so it doesn't bother me in the slightest. So, where exactly are you from? The cold region. The village of Soleil. It's a little town on the side of a mountain in a forest to the north. Never heard of it. That's because it's way, way north. There's a field covered in marguerites. And there's a big windmill. It's really amazing. Huh? I wish I could give you a tour. That's it! We'll go there together next time! I'm sure you'll be shocked! Huh? No thanks. I don't care for the cold or hick towns. I wasn't even interested in the first place. Then why ask? Huh? Why not? Oh, wait. I think we should go right here. Hey. How much farther is it? Feels like we've been walking forever. Oh, we're lost. Hmm? What? Oh, there's a building out here. I think that's the abandoned church. The Count said not to go near it. The Count said so, huh? But it's just some ruins, right? Doesn't look like anyone's used it in a while. Nachiro approaches the abandoned church and upon seeing that it's empty, puts a hand on the door. D don't do it, Nachi! We'll get in trouble! Did you forget what happened when we went into the storeroom? Uh, well, no one's been using this place, right? Let's just take a little peek inside. No! Don't uh, forget our errand, too! <laughs> hey, don't touch me! I get it, okay? <laughs> a familiar cat jumps down from above the room. It's the one known by various names, Noir and the Count just being a couple of them. Meow. Yes, meow. Oh, Noir. Noir, come here. Noir glances at the two before scurrying down the path they had just walked up. I wonder if this is Noir's house. Oh, maybe it's trying to show us how to get to the village. Huh? Why is your head in the clouds all the time? Look, if you wanted to go to the village, shouldn't we have gone left at that stream? Well, why didn't you say so? Huh? Really? If you'd gone by yourself, you'd definitely be found dead in a ditch by the side of the road. Yeah. <laughs> Don't just admit that would happen. Look, look! We're here, Nachi! Yeah, and we would have been here sooner if you hadn't gotten us lost. Oh yes, Donkey, yes. What do you want? <coughs> Alright. <laughs> He's been watching you this whole time, Nachi! That this is freaking me out. Oh, it's big boobs. The girl with big boobs. All right. Hey, old man, that's the one I told you about. Back. 
bitch. Don't be rude. Go on, or I'll tell your mother. <laughs> Apologies, miladies. What brings you here today? Cognac watches both of them as he speaks. <laughs> now, didn't he have blue eyes before? Hmm. Yuiko reads aloud what she was told by Madame Marta to get on her note. Uh, um, three bales of hay, some livestock drool, and then some grapes. Could I get 13 big grapes closest to the stem? 13? Why 13 exactly? Just get, like, a bunch. Livestock drool? I won't ask. Is this enough money? T Ten gold coins? I can't possibly accept that much. No, Perry, um, I think a little girl from our place took a bunch of stuff from your home without asking. We're so sorry. Oh, yes, her. I see. Then I will gratefully accept this. I'll need some time to prepare your order. Please come inside. I excuse the mess. Oh, mind the donkey. He'll bite when he's in a bad mood. <laughs> it, I don't know if that's like, I won't bite you, or I will bite you. Uh. <laughs> Indeed. W wait for me! Please give me a moment. I'll get everything together. I do wonder what's going on with him. Like, I, I need to check back and see if he did have blue eyes now, because I remember that being a thing. Like, because I'm paying attention to loads of little details, and I really do believe he had blue eyes before. At least in the previous scene when he was at the manor, he did. Uh, okay. Thank you very much. It's hard work in the fields. I've hardly any free time. That's why I live alone, despite my age. Alone? Right then, it's all set. Here you go. I gave you some extra grapes on the house. Wow, 15 grapes! Cognac hands Eureka a hemp sack stuffed with ingredients. Th thank you very much! <laughs> easy, easy now. By the way, miss... Uh, um, those... those clothes are incredible. Are they quite popular in the capital? <laughs> well, would you look at this? The hood on that coat looks handy. I've never seen the like around these parts. Now, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. What's going on with his eye color now? Like, there's definitely something going on with the eye color, because, like... He had brown eyes, right? He had brown eyes. So what's going on here? Why why does he now have blue eyes? Um, if it's all right with you, could I take a look at it? What's what's going on? What's, what's going on here? Uh, I am a tailor myself, so I'd love to use it as a reference. Cognac tries to touch Nechiro's clothes, but she swats his hand away. The hell? Don't touch me! Huh? Why not? You should let him take a look. A tear glimmers in Cognac's eye after Naturo so suddenly slapped his hand away. Ah, I understand. My apologies. Maybe I can try recreating it from sight alone. <laughs> oh, I know. Uh, how about you stay for a glass of our finest wine? No thanks. Besides, we're obviously underage. Hmm? Well then, we'll head home. Thank you very much, Mr. Cognac. Y yes, uh, if you ever need anything else, please let me know. Hmm. I'm glad we were able to get everything. 
let's get let's keep a close eye on everyone's eyes now because that was odd <laughs> Nachi uh, uh, what's wrong you suddenly went quiet no one else is around you know Nachi suddenly hunches over tears in her eyes and lets out a deep sob this is why I told you I didn't want to go. <laughs> why? Why did I have to come all the way here just to have this happen to me? Why? <laughs> huh? N Nachi? Uh, are you okay? What's wrong? I see. Well, it's all right. Just give her some space. Yeah, we need more details on what's happened there. All we need now is for Fanti to get the other materials, and we'll be able to make a medicine to take care of the gout. Fanti, we're counting on you! Yeah, I know, I know. As for the waterway, I think I've figured out what to do about it. Really? Does that mean we can go through it now? Yes, that's right. Just like with removing curses, there will be a time limit, but that's to be expected. Yeah, keeps it a bit fun. Otherwise, what's the point? You could just wander about like normal. As she speaks, she gives a piece of parchment inscribed with the witch's runes up to the lantern. What's this? You learned the fantability. Dive art level one. Be sure to watch your remaining oxygen. I won't be able to do anything about that. So you two need to work around it as best as you can. Basically, if you run out of time underwater, it'll all be over. You understand? Just keep that in mind. I will. I'll repeat myself once more. If you run out of time, you will die. So be extra careful, you hear me? Yeah, I got it, I got it. Okay, Fanti. Please take your special lunch along with you. Take care. Oh, lovely. Energy milk, stew, donut. The art of diving, level one. Can I do that up already? I've got quite a bit of mana. Okay, what we got? Um... Get around underwater, that's what we want. So that's made it easy for us immediately, and again. That's it. We're sorted on that front. Okay, so... Let's actually... Have a gander at it. And then we'll end this part here, and I'll go off and explore in between the parts. You know how I do. What a little look. You know, just, just, just a little look before we finish up. You've learned the Fantability Deep Swimmer. This will allow you to swim underwater in the labyrinth. Once you've acquired this skill, just stand by the water and the entry action will be displayed. Select to enter the water. You may exit the water by moving to an unwalled ground level area and selecting the action there. The oxygen gauge will be displayed upon entering the water. The oxygen gauge will decrease as turns progress. If you continue to move whilst it is at 0%, your entire brigade will take heavy damage. Be careful in regards to underwater battles. The oxygen gauge will decrease significantly during battles. Oh. Replenish the oxygen gauge by leaving the water. Be mindful of the gauge as you proceed with the search. Let's have a little look then. Let's go to the right first. Okay. You took a big cup of air. Okay. Oh, I like that. There's oxygen in the boxes. That's cool. I like how the music music itself's got a bit. Sorry, I had to cough. I I um like how the music's got sort of like a muffled aspect to it. I don't know, but like something about being underwater made me want to cough. Got a little tickle in my throat, sort of thing, you know. I imagine this is just water all around the sides, isn't it? Like this is what's going on here. Like we'll get this little bit sorted though. Like, yep, there we go. 
Right, let's head towards the middle. No, no air anymore. Okay, I've used all the air things. Fine. Hmm, well, there's a way out there. Okay. Oh. That was it. Seems to be a wall down there, though. There's an enemy there. I don't need to use that yet. Hmm. So there's going to be a lot to explore, isn't there, from the looks of it? Let's get up then. And it's going to take me quite a while to get through it all, I imagine. Let's blast through there. Aha! Like, like I said, there's like I want to use my sight to actually explore a bit more on the map. It's very helpful. Yeah, why is why is this just a ladder here? I'm gonna be taking advantage of blasting through the walls quite a bit as I make my way around here, like boom, boom. So I have some idea where I'm going. Ah, okay, so we need a key for that. Let's like go there. Look back. Go up. I'm wondering if like we're meant to be heading towards the middle. Because you can see, like, I'm nearly at the middle. So let's, let's have a let's have a little gander at the middle. Ooh, a disease pact. Okay, so what's in here? Oh, hello. So how do we get over there? Okay, so we can get up in there. There we go. Tained Molg Island image. Doesn't seem to be a curio to art though. Right, so. I'm going to end this part here. And in the next part I will have done a lot of exploring in... Indigo Transept. I imagine there's more floors. Because if it's Waterway 1, it's going to be a Waterway 2. It's going to be a Waterway 3. There's going to be a Waterway 4, 5, 6. You know. You know how it is. So we'll see you in the next part after I've done some exploring and probably have to return to the witch. So we'll see you then. Ta-da for now.